Hey YouTube and horror fans, this is Matt again with uh, You and Your Horror Movies. I'm doing another update for some DVDs I just got. Uh, right now the first one is called Amok Train. This one is was reviewed by uh, Moods on his podcast there, 22 Shots of Moods. This was from 1989. It's also called um, Beyond the Door 3. I didn't know anything about this movie until I saw it I loved it. Pretty much a bunch of American students go on a college trip to, um, I don't know if it's Germany or Scandinavia, somewhere overseas, to, find, to view a cult setting. And then they actually become part of the um, sacrifice. So they try to get away and they board this train. And all of a sudden the train is actually possessed too. So, the train kills him. It's pretty cool. Uh, next one I got was like for four bucks. I haven't seen it yet. It's called Devil's Pass. I think it's a found footage film. A bunch of hikers in, I think, uh, Russia? Yep. Are go missing, so a bunch of people go to find them. And then they try to, f then these, um, five American students follow their path to find out why these people disappeared. I'll give it a shot. Uh, next one I've seen, this is a Ty West, The Roost. This movie is fantastic. Uh, pretty much, these kids go on a trip to, for a Halloween wedding, get lost. They come to find this barn to uh, find help. These bats in this place, if they kill you, bite you, you become a zombie. So you got zombies and killer bats. This is actually a, f a very fun film. Uh, I didn't know about it for a while. I picked it up as a rental one day, and I thought, this was actually really good. This is like one of those up-all-night films that you find very good setting. Definitely strongly check this one out. This one I got dirt cheap. Phantom Racer. This is a uh, sci-fi movie. It's a killer car movie. Uh, two friends uh, are part of a, a team. Then they decide to go their separate ways, and they're doing a NASCAR-type set up and one guy keeps losing and his friend of course keeps winning and you know he sets him up to lose causes a car accident the guy dies his friend that's the good guy lives and he decides he doesn't want to do racing anymore so he drives a NASCAR truck so while he's driving along the truck has issues and of course he goes back to his hometown and he finds his old crew or his friend's old crew the guy restored the race car he got a fight blood fell in the car and all of a sudden his spirit the bad, guy, the, uh, bad friend there takes control of the car takes control of the car and pretty much kills people so it's a killer car movie you don't see the spirit here and there only once in a while but it's cheesy so I found it for a couple bucks had to pick that one up uh, my newest ones that I bought, actually I got today, uh, another sci-fi movie called Wyvern. I actually like this one. Uh, it's a small town, I think, near Alaska, and these eggs come out of nowhere, hatch a giant drake slash Wyvern, and, of course, kills town people. Yeah. It was a fun little one. This one I found for dirt cheap, the special and the CD of... Blair Witch 2. This one is a uh, Book of Shadows. It's actually got the CD and the DVD all in one. It's got the whole setup. For four bucks, I said, okay, why not? I own the original on Blu ray. Had to get the sequel. Even though the sequel has nothing pretty much to do with the first movie because that's the found footage, this one is not. This one had a lot of cool shit going on. So if you haven't seen Blair Witch 2, give that one a shot. <clears throat> the next one is a double feature called The Leopard Man and Ghost Ship. I got this because of the Leopard Man. Okay, my mom is 82. She saw this movie when she was a little girl and it scared the shit out of her. Just had that one scene with there's a panther on the loose. Uh, the mother sends the little girl to go get groceries. She doesn't want to go. I send her off. Then later on the girl's banging on the door saying, Mommy, there's something out here. Let me in. Let me in. Of course the mom doesn't believe her. Then all of a sudden you hear a weird noise. 
you hear claw marks and the little girl screaming. Then all of a sudden you hear a thud. <clears throat> then it pans down to the door and there's blood coming out of the door. My mom said she freaked out <laughs> when she saw this. So I had to pick this one up for that. It's great. Um, the Ghost Ship. Uh, Richard Dix. <clears throat> there's been like other remakes to this one. I think this is the original. The Mad Captain tries to kill his crew aboard the ship. It's a cool little premise. This one I have to watch. I'll probably watch it tonight. It's called Mr. Jones. Pretty much is a couple of artists, couple, go to a secluded area to be alone to work on their art projects. Uh, they find out their neighbor is a superior Mr. Jones, who only works at night and his sculptures and does everything all by himself. He doesn't want people around, so of course they gotta go after him and try to find him. And I guess it's all twisted and whatnot. So I'm gonna give it a watch tonight or tomorrow, depending on if I have time. And I'll let you guys know how this movie is. <clears throat> Hopefully, it's pretty good. If not, well, that's the way it goes. Uh, the next setup was they were cheap at Fye, and of course, you know Godzilla's coming out in a couple weeks, which I can't wait for. So I want a little Godzilla binge. First one's the original Terror of Mecha Godzilla. I wish it was the original artwork, but these are pretty solid. Gotta love the, uh, the old black and whites. Uh, the next one was All Monsters Attack. Sorry for the lighting off, it's good or not. But this one's a pretty solid. Uh, it's got a bunch of different Godzilla creatures in it. Um, Megagirus, Ibra. Godzilla, of course, uh, and a bunch of others. But this one I heard is like an all-out battle royale. Uh, the next one is Godzilla Raids Again. It's another black and white one. It's got the original Japanese from 1955 and the English dubbed version from 1959. So four years later, they dubbed it in English. Um, got some special cool commentary on it. So, of course, had to get that one for my Godzilla collection. Uh, the next one is Godzilla 2000. I love this one. This one was fantastic. Pretty much this UFO lands on top of this gigantic skyscraper, and people were trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Come to find out the UFO's actually a giant monster, and it starts converting into this monster. And, of course, Godzilla keeps coming on and does all the damage to this monster, the Americans and the U.S. and Japanese get together to help fight this creature and fight Godzilla. <laughs> the ending's pretty cool. Pretty much a Godzilla turns on and says, pretty much, fuck you, and breathes fire on the town. It's awesome. And the last one I got, so sorry, this is actually a, a short little video. I said, what the hell, why not? This is the Godzilla animated series. <laughs> this is the, uh, the one that's after the 1998 so this is the crappy Zilla version. There's an actual a Hanna-Barbera Godzilla cartoon. I'm going to see if I can try to find that one too. I'm going to try to own them all. But this is the complete series. There's 40 episodes and I guess two unaired episodes. Why not, right? So I got this pretty cheap. There's about four discs in there. Unfortunately, they're all stacked. And of course, it's the, the crappy Zilla. Not the, um, the, not the Japanese Godzilla, but the American version. So, that's it for this haul. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, I'm sorry for a short video. going to be having dinner soon, so I wanted to throw those out pretty quick and throw them on the shelf. And pretty soon I'm going to be doing a, a Blu-ray to do all my Blu-rays. Uh, I hope we get that out sometime this week, too. I want to get that showing for you folks. And then uh, I'll start doing some more videos. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. Like, subscribe. And enjoy down below. Thank you all. Goodbye.